Darling, I? darling, it's better down where it's wetter. <laughs> Take it from me. Uh, so we had a ad- fucking adventurous mm-hmm. night, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yes, and we yes. saw a movie. Yeah. Yes. So uh, uh, after hours, uh, Lana, you haven't been here since you were robbed. That's right. And now that I, about seven years ago, I was robbed outside of this theater at gunpoint. And tonight I saw the remake of The Little Mermaid. And now getting robbed at gunpoint is the second worst thing that's ever happened. <laughs> yeah. In you, this theater. At this theater, yeah. Um, yeah that's because, what I said. He oh, was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fucking Dave. I know, Dave really. You know, if, your son, if your son was here, Dave, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> that's the other crazy thing that happened tonight. <clears throat> I have humidity here. Oh, my that's God. That's all right. So, so Lana and Dave brought us pizza. Well, brought us, me. Pizza and cookies and white claws. And we, we the theater's closed. The two people came to see Fast X. Had to wait for them to get out. Uh, they were slow X. They were slow, yeah. <laughs> slow X. Slow X. Uh, X. Um, and so we're waiting, and we go in, and I start the movie. I take out the trash, and I come down, and I join you guys. And then, like, a black child <laughs> comes in. And we didn't know... What was happening? Because the building was locked. And I'm like, hey, buddy. And he goes, oh, I'm looking for my mom. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? (laughs) It turned out he was the cleaner's grandson. But he just makes himself comfortable, goes in front of us, sits next to Dave. He's got his tablet. He's talking to his mom on his tablet. And never once they say, hey, who's the white guy? (laughs) It was so he terrifying. Showed me, he showed her. He pointed the tablet at me so she could see my face. <laughs> like, this is the guy I'm watching a movie with. And then you guys brought me two Gatorades. He just picked up one and walked out with oh, it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it was crazy because the movie, I, I get scared in dark theaters when I'm alone. When I worked at his yeah. theater, I used to get scared at night by myself. And even now with the three of us, I still got the creeps because mm-hmm. there's something about theater when nobody else is in it. Yeah. And um, so I'm sitting there, all of a sudden I see Newt turn around and he's got this terrified look on his face and he's like, what the fuck? And I was too terrified to turn around, like, just tell me what it is so I can just, I, I can't. You know the it. famous, like, Amityville picture where there's the kid's face sticking out of the corner? Yes! That's kind of what it was. Like oh but Ray God. swapped because we watched <laughs> Little Mermaid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, was, he was real quiet. Like, the door was quiet. Everything was quiet. Yeah, like, but then he just kept coming back and forth. And we're, we're, we're clearly trying to, wa- and gra- his grandfather is the cleaner. Not tonight, That guy guys. was creepy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, so he comes in, and he, because I told you guys a story about how he reached under the box office one time mm-hmm. and just grabbed, like, the middle of my pizza. And he has, like, dirty, like, yeah. his hands look, yeah, like, dirty uh, with the nails. And he ain't like, gonna oh. watch this. <laughs> You know, so he, he goes, oh, you guys got pizza? I'm hungry. I got the munchies. He's got a a, a, a small child with him. <laughs> he looks high as hell. Yeah, he's, he's like, munchies, you know what I'm saying? yeah, fucking had such bad cotton mouth. He thought he was going to spit out a Q-tip. <laughs> <laughs> so he takes a slice of your pizza, walks out, but he's walking out. He says, you got this. I said, yes, I cleaned this theater. Mm-hmm. The movie ends. I get up to go pee. I look into the other theater. It's fucking war-torn trash. Beirut in there. <laughs> it's trash. He clocked himself in and he just fucking left. Mm-hmm. I took the garbage out. I was suspicious because he was only here for like a half an hour, if that. Well, he and got us to babysit. Yeah, we babysat for a half hour. And um, yeah, but that that was one of the most terrifying moments. <laughs> it was like, what the fuck? And I was like, I don't want to look. And I turned around some kids in the door. I'm like, where did he come from? He was like, the kid was totally comfortable with like yeah. a random middle-aged dude just talking to me. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and then the kid. There was a part. Um, the kid started telling us which mermaid he thought was the hottest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And um, so that Keep was this kid's like four, maybe. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like, I put a hurtin' in that bitch. <laughs> 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 Get some tail. Uh, yeah, so we watched Little Mermaid, the remake. We did. We um, sure did. Yeah. Uh, again, just like the Jungle Book and the Lion King and. Cinderella and and Aladdin, they don't need to make these. These are these are <laughs> the equivalent of like draining uh, all the resources that you have mm-hmm. of these IPs. Um, it, it the reviews of it were. We were talking about it. You have 
the the woke white people mm-hmm. who are like, this is the best fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is the best freaking best movie. Best movie since The Godfather. Yeah, exactly. Do I get a star? Like a gold star? Yeah, can I pat myself on yeah. the back? And then Disney is like, oh, yeah, diversity everywhere. But what? Like, yeah. what? what is this? The but it's s- funny because I read a lot of reviews from black film critics who were like, this movie has a lot of problems and it's very <laughs> disappointing. <laughs> <You know>, like, <laughs> We've been waiting all these years for a yeah. black mermaid and this and is this what you is- give us. And speaking of which, Halle Bailey was great. Halle I Berry was she- great. Halle Berry. Yes. <laughs> she, was great. she was great. I think um, after Die Another Day, this is my favorite performance. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's it's uh, Monster and then oh, this. And then the Flintstones mm-hmm. movie. Um no, yeah, uh, she was fantastic. I, I actually prefer her version of what's the one song with the the up uh, where they were. Uh, uh, oh, um, part of your yeah, part of your world. world. I actually prefer her version because he got a little bit more breathy and a little bit more like emotion in it, mm-hmm. yeah. which is saying something because everything else in this movie is emotionless. Mm-hmm. Um, they why do they make the fucking animals realistic? They were, yeah, Flounder was a joke. I mean, they didn't, you know, they made him look really, I like his little fat head yeah. in the movie, you know, with his little cheeks <laughs> yeah. in the original. He gets a little hydrocephalic And now head. he's like anorexic Flounder, and he's barely in it. Yeah, and, like, and it's the a little boy like, from, it's. The he, kid from Doctor Sleep who got yeah. like uh, soul raped. Or yeah, so I imagine that he got soul raped, and then he came back in reincarnation as a fish. Mm-hmm. That's barely in the movie. Yes. <laughs> I thought the crab looked like. Lovecraftian. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it was biz- like again, it's same thing with the fucking Lion King. Like, I have a cat. They have two faces, mm-hmm. and you're gonna make this movie. The whole reason that animation works is Sebastian's fucking or what's his what's the crab's name? Yeah, Sebastian. Sebastian. Yeah. His jaw can fall down, and like that was can, one of my favorite parts. Of yeah, jaw falls that one. Because again, I it's lame, but the the Little Mermaid. I'm wearing the T-shirt. So when I got this shirt, a dude at Hot Topic was like, what are you, a fruit? <laughs> and I was like, what an antiquated way to say that. Like, And sir, you're working at Hot Topic. Mm, yeah, right? <laughs> but yeah, it was my favorite when I was a kid because I thought it was so colorful and neat, you know. Mm, and, and, um, it's a beautiful movie, the original. And it was the movie that kicked off the, the Disney renaissance, mm-hmm. you know. You know that they wanted to cut the part of their world, part of your world song out? Really? Because that in the original test screening, the animation wasn't done yet, so it was just like pencils, and the kids started to fidget in the seats, so they wanted to cut it out, and the guy's like, let me animate it on my own time, and we'll put it in there, and it, you know, it's just like they wanted to cut uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow out of Wizard of Oz. Yeah, those are like iconic songs. They were so, well, they were so busy uh, molesting Judy Garland, mm-hmm. filling right. fucking Jed Clampett's lungs with iron paste, <laughs> and, and <laughs> like setting the Wicked Witch on fire, covering everyone in asbestos. Yeah. They had other things to worry about, you know? <laughs> yeah, 